G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel in another video. In this one I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the AVA P60 Master pressure washer. First impression is always going to be the box and for a pressure washer this is a really nicely presented box. It's basically got everything on it that you'd want. Um, if you were looking for one and you saw one of these in the shop you've got a picture of the washer over here it tells you the specs so it's the p60 145 bar max 500 liters per hour on a 10 amp circuit you've got an 8 meter steel reinforced hose over here it shows you what's in the box you've got an extendable lance this is a little water filter that will attach down here where your hose goes on the trigger handle is like an anti-fatigue trigger handle with um, no resistance you've got a foam gun two nozzles which I've already had a look at one is the got the loose nozzle inside for cleaning things like concrete and driveways that one there is a multi nozzle so it's a 20 and a 60 degree nozzle I believe we've also got a patio cleaner in this one too let's get to some unboxing Okay, so inside, do not store below 2 degrees Celsius. Do not use hot water above 40 degrees Celsius. And we've got some instructions here on how to attach the water filter, which is right here. Firstly, we have our manuals. So there's also a tool on the back and this is for unclogging your nozzles in case they get clogged up. But inside here will be all your warranty information, your user guide, how to set it up and things like that. This is your extendable lance. So these have all got a Karcher fitting. Um, so if you've got Karcher products or you're, you've got an outgoing Karcher lance, and all of your snow foam lances and things like that have got Karcher fittings. This is compatible. We've got a button. Give it a twist. And lengthens the lance. So that's nice. This is a 15 degree. It says 15 degrees on it. So 15 degree spray. We'll test all of these out. This one has got your little loose end in it, and that'll be for the concrete and walls and things like that. Here is your foam lance, comes in two parts, you've got the head and the bottle. I believe that's that goes to 700ml, so it's probably a max 800ml bottle, but that measures to 700 And this is a variable nozzle. Um, it says on here 60 degrees for doing like house and looks like wood. 20 degrees for doing things like marine and brick. And this here is the trigger. So it's got a lock. That is quite easy to squeeze and hold. So we'll go through on how to fit everything to the to the trigger head, how to set up the pressure washer itself, and then we'll test all of the heads. We'll test the foam bottle, and we'll find the patio cleaner and test that too. Now that we've removed all of the top packaging, we can now see the Ava patio cleaner, which I will test in this video. So it's. It's thin plastic, but hopefully it's quite robust. It's got their very firm bristles. So hopefully that, that can start to dislodge some of the dirt before the water even gets to it. And then we've got the, the fan inside where the water jets are gonna come from. And this is obviously adjustable also. Now, assuming this is going to go into the adjustable lance, because you don't wanna be leaning over um, but we'll, we'll work all that out later. And in here, 
I won't film me struggling to get this out because it weighs about 20 kilos. But now we're down to the pressure washer itself. And this is it, this is the P60 Master Series. So we've got our steel reinforced hose. We've got quite a, what looks like a pretty long power cable. I'm not a massive fan of how it's secured on the side here. We've got this like rubberized cable tie style thing. So I'm not a huge fan of that. I wish that these came with more like a retractable power cord, more like a vacuum cleaner, but I guess that comes into where the space is. So, okay, so to wind in and out, I've just worked out that you pull the handle out and you can lock it in wherever you need. This is amazing. I really do like this. I work out how to use it. So this little twisty boy, with my old gurney, this was fixed. So if you weren't exactly facing, or if you weren't exactly pulling straight out of the, the gurney, you would tend to want to tip either side, but this, that's actually a really good range of motion. And there's just in behind, there is these locking tabs. So you can fix it in place or you can have it um, twisted. There you go. It just makes them get used to using that. Um, on the side here, this is telescopic. So that's good. That gives you even more motion that side. You've got lots of little, you've got lots of little places to hold things. So you've got a little port here. You can put your foam gun here, your foam lance here. Your extendable lance and trigger can either go vertically here or rest across, which I think is pretty cool, especially if you're out washing a car or doing something and you just want to quickly put it down. I think that's fantastic. Really clear on and off switch. I believe this pops out also. So there's another button just around the side and you can pull that out and then it's an anti anti um, tilt anti fall over device which I think is really cool they've, they've really thought about how people use a pressure washer and thought about the annoying things about having a pressure washer and they've tried to tried to minimize it which I think is really cool so props to Ava of Norway now you may or may not see from that angle but this has got a, a Massport logo on it also I believe Massport are the importer and distributor of Ava pressure washers in Australia. So these are still made in Norway, they're still the Ava series, but that's why this has got a mass port. I think we just need to use it. First, let's take a look at the foam lance. Now, it doesn't strike me as the most premium foam lance. All this is plastic. Um, I'm not sure how much adjustment it has regarding spray width and foam content, but we'll try that out. One thing I've noticed, which in my review of the Autoglim foam lance, that one has a really wide opening here so that you don't spill your foam when you pour it in. I think pouring in from a bottle, even an easy to grab bottle, is going to be a bit tricky. So let's get started. A couple of things before I actually use it. This will fit into straight into the trigger or it will fit into the adjustable lance. This has got like a little collet on it just to help lock it in, which is another good feature. Um, being a Karcher one, you've got the two tangs anyway that sort of lock in place, but that's just a bit of extra safety. Um, one thing that this does share with, I think, the Karcher is where the hose goes into the trigger. Now, if you want to put that down anywhere, as you can see, it's a bit, um, a bit in the way. I can rest it in there, but 
there's a bit of a bend here so not ideal um, just if ever you have to put down your foaming lance or anything midway through that's just a bit something you'll learn to live with it's not like a deal breaker but you know just something that I've just found and I thought I'd mention it so let's spray it on and see how it looks okay so pulling the hose out the hose although it's new it's nice and straight nice and easy the follow me hose reel twists nicely it's pretty good and I can probably get around the whole car if even if I just move it forward a little bit so down here it's gonna be hard to show we've got nothing if you turn this a little happy face comes up and then a oh my god face I hope you can see that but I assume that that means maximum foam and because it's YouTube that's what we're going for so So initial thoughts, as I said, it's it's not a premium lance, but it's doing okay. Um, one slightly disappointing thing is I've only got a small car, but I haven't even finished it and. I'm not sure you can see it in there but I'm nearly out of foam so I might need to top it up and finish the car and let it dwell just thought to show this as a quick example this is my auto glim polar blaster it's got the cartridge fitting so if you line that up and lock that in and that sits on there nicely again still have the issue of trying to sit it down but you can do it like that if you've got a sturdy bottle you can do it so I'm happy with that you got some extra little spots in the back here to hang your nozzles which is pretty neat these wheels are huge which helps lugging around the 20 kilo pressure washer after reading the instructions because we should all do that before using a new product I'm going to use the variable nozzle and have it at a 60 degree spray because it says that the narrower sprays are for more hardier things not really automotive paint more like your your marine and your your concrete and bricks so that's what i'm going to do just a quick demo between the two there's your 60 just a quick twist and there's your 20. so that that is really easy to use so far i'm really impressed with this pressure washer all the little neat features of it all the little improvements um, really happy and you can get this from car care products australia i'll put a link down in the description so this is using the loose nozzle that when you see it will form a circular pattern and this is more for stripping and cleaning So you wouldn't use that nozzle on your car, but you would use it on your driveway. This gives you a good example of the little spinny turbo nozzle. You can see where I've done. And that was very quick. Onto the patio cleaner. Again, the same Karcher style head fits in there. And we're just going to clean up some mud that we've gathered on a bit of rain. 
never used one of these before so I've got this at full extension um, it's a good height for me you can feel that the bristles are stiff let's see how it goes That is wicked. I'm going to use that a lot over summer. Um, it does put it down a lot of water, so you'll have to go through with a clean brush or something if it's not a hot day. But all in all, that works fantastic. That's going to come up really nice and clean. One last thing to comment before I give my final thought on this. It's got a really heavy duty looking connection here where actually the hose connects into the machine and it's got a protective plasticky rubber just to protect the hose rubbing on the inside of the plastic there I'll go around the other side and show you better but it just goes to show that they've thought of a lot of things that there are issues with pre-existing pressure washers and these guys are really want to make this last so I'm really impressed with this so far so now that we're done Taking it apart is really easy. Being the catcher fitting, we can store that behind there. Pull this up and your hose pops out. Still got a bit of hose in the pressure there. Now to store it, as I said earlier, you can store it across ways, but if you're a bit pushed for space, you might want to use this. And store it that way in your garage or your shed. And then the reel, if you wanted to, you could lock in place. Just got to pop out your little handle. Make sure that's popped out. And it reels up very, very easily. And the thing I like about the hose is when I was using it, as you can see, other hoses would have just kinked doing that. While I was using the hose, that one's a bit, it does untangle very easily. And you don't have to keep going back to it when you're walking around your car. So that saves a bit of time and it's not annoying. So what do I think of the Ava P60 Master Series pressure washer? By far, this is the best pressure washer I've ever owned. It's got a bunch of features that I've never seen on a retail level, such as this swinging. Um, that's fantastic. The extra stability down here for anti-tilt um, just everything is really neat and user friendly if I was to pick it some little niggles I mentioned at the start the way that this hose ties up here uh, the cable car cable ties up um, is a bit messy and just the entry point for the hose into the trigger um, I'd probably prefer it further away from the car behind me so up here or even straight in the back of the, the trigger would be handy just to keep the hose pointing away from the car at all times. Um, in regards to this hose, this is fantastic. The actual follow me hose is um, amazing at not allowing itself to kink and unraveling itself is amazing. So I was a little bit hesitant at first to buy this just because of the price. It's about $780. Um, Australian so I got it on sale I got a bit lucky um, but now that I've got it it is definitely definitely the best pressure washer I've ever had and I'm really glad that I've got it now it comes with a seven year warranty but I have read on the terms and conditions that if you get this serviced within the first five years at a um, authorized mass port service center that will give you another five years warranty on top of it so I think it's going to be fantastic. Hopefully I don't run into the same issues as my old one with the pump failing. This is a metal pump and it's designed to last. So thank you for watching guys. All links in the descriptions for this and others. So cheers and I hope you've enjoyed the, this review.